Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to our next lesson in the D programming language series. Now in this introduction here of the series, I want to go ahead and get you set up with some tools. So if you're a Mac user, this is the video for you. Or if you're just a little bit curious about the D compiler, you can go ahead and watch, but this one's really for the Mac folks and getting you set up on the DMD or the LDC2 compiler. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. So let's go ahead and get you set up on the Mac for working with the D programming language. You'll notice if you go to the home page, it'll probably know what operating system you're using and you can just download the DMG file here. But go ahead to the downloads because I want to show you that there's a few different compilers that are available for the D programming language. And you can find some more information here about the different compilers. But in general, the DMD compiler, that's the first one here, this is the official reference compiler. It has the front end and the back end implemented in the D programming language itself. And it's usually kept well up to date with the latest features from latest standards and different proposals that have been set up. So that's what we're going to start with, and that's what I'll be using for most of this video series because it is just the official reference compiler. It's also got some other cools, cool tools that are integrated with it, so you'll want to check those out as well. So the other ones that I want you to be aware of, though, are GDC, which is a GCC-based D compiler. And that's pretty cool because this really makes D a first-class citizen when it comes to programming languages, that it's in the GCC compiler infrastructure. That means this language is here to stay. So there's strong optimization support because you get all the GCC backend optimizations that happen uh, during your code generation phase here. So that's something that you'll want to keep in mind. And as well, you can target different architectures using GDC. And that said, LDC, which is LLVM-based decompiler, is also available. And there are some examples using LDC for Android support, for example, for using a deep programming language, something we might venture into this series if that's of interest. Now, I want to show you how to set up LDC because on Macs, Clang tends to be the default compiler, so that's going to be useful to see. But anyways, let's go ahead and start with DMD, go to our download, find Mac OS, download the DMG file, just a small file here, and go ahead and run through the install process. It's going to ask you to do a few things. So if you just double click it here, you're going to make to be the verified developer. So make sure that you can open it up. We trust it here. Go ahead and continue here. Read the license and make sure to do the install. Type in your password, whatever it might be. And just give this a moment to run here. It runs relatively fast here and gets you set up on D here. So that's pretty awesome here. I'll go ahead and move that to trash. So now that we've downloaded the compiler, let's go ahead and give ourselves a little test program that we can run here. So I'm just going to write a hello.d program here using void main, no return, which is nice. Write line, hello d series from Mac, something like that. Do the trick here. And we need to import a library for the write line functions. Import from the standard library, standard IO. Now again, I just love the D programming language. It's just very clean. And if you come from a C or a C++ background, you'll be able to transition over quite well. So here's a little hello world program. Let's go ahead and just output hello.d here and show you how to compile this thing. So if you want, you can just run the DMD compiler. Let's check to make sure that it was installed here. Again, at the time of this recording, I'm using version 2.100.0, which you can see in the top left corner of the screen here. Now, in order to compile, we're going to specify the file name here, .d-of for the output file, and let's just go ahead and give this a name here, something like prog here. I'll hit enter here. Now, let's see, it looks like I made some mistakes here, so I can go ahead and modify this file here. And as always, the compiler does a nice job of alerting me of the errors here. I forgot a semicolon. All right, so let's go ahead and try that. Now what you're going to notice with D and the D compilers that you choose, you might get some different error messages here. But again, I like using the DMD one. It tends to give really useful error messages here that tell you what's going on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just output that file here to the console so you can see it and rerun our compiled command. Looks like everything's good. And I'll go ahead and run this. And there's our hello D series uh, from the Mac this time. So at this point, if you want to go ahead and stop the video, you can go ahead and do that. It's probably bad for my YouTube retention, but you have all you need for this series. But I want to go ahead and show you one step further here. If we go ahead and scroll up here to the LDC, let's go ahead and download this one and see if we can get things set up here. Now again, LDC here, you can see the GitHub project. Uh, it's worth supporting and taking another look at if you get involved with D here. But I'm just going to go ahead and install from a pre-built package here. Now, if you want, you can run this uh, script here 
But I'm just gonna go ahead to the GitHub release page here, and we're gonna take a look at their continuous integration builds here. Now again, you can see the track record of all the different uh, things that have been built here. And since we're using Mac here, we wanna look at these OS X installs here. And let's go ahead and uh, depending on your architecture here, which I'm gonna go with the universal one, um, because I've got a Mac on the M1 here, so we'll go ahead and get that installed. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up. And it's gonna to have to expand the archive, which is just gonna take a moment. And we can see that we have a bunch of our stuff here for LDC. Now let's go ahead and just open this up in a terminal here. And I'll go ahead and expand this window. And you can see the contents of this directory. I can cd into bin here. And you'll see that we have the LDC2 compiler here. So let's go ahead and just enter this here. Oops, LDC2. And let's see what this gives us here. Now it says it can't be verified at this time here because again, we're gonna to have to run through that same step that we did uh, before. We need to make sure that we uh, trust this program. Go, go ahead and right click on it, uh, open it up here, and it's gonna take us to our prompt here. Uh, looks like it was uh, successfully executed. Now let's go ahead and try to run it. And again, now we'll see there's no source files. So again, you're probably not gonna to wanna to write a uh, program here, uh, but I'm just going to do it for the example. Let's go ahead and rewrite our hello D program here. Get some more experience doing that. Void main, write line, hello from LDC2, because this is version uh, 2 of the D language. And again, import standard stdio, and again. Okay, so now that we have that program here, let's go ahead and just play around with running LDC. Uh, two here with our hello D program. Now if I go ahead and hit enter, let's see what was generated here. And did we get a hello program? Well, we got something here. Let's try to execute it. And we did here. Now I want to go ahead and just show you some different things with LDC2. And again, let's go ahead and check the uh, version here. And you'll see the different options we have. We have 1.30 and the version of LLVM that it's based off of. Again, you can see that this is relevant a relatively recent version of LLVM as of this recording in 2022. Um, so with that said, uh, you now have this available here. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, just take a look at uh, if we wanna do just some other basic things here like outputting a file here, something like this. Um, now you'll notice here, uh, this time it's complaining here, it's saying, hey, what are you trying to do here? It didn't notice this uh, command line argument. Uh, so can we use the uh, same thing? Well, we can this time. So LDC is nicely aligned with um, the same compiler flags as DMD. I didn't show you last time DMD's uh, help page, but again, you can go ahead and see that there's all sorts of flags here. And these ones were different than LDC. You'll even see some different tools here, like for example, coverage analysis that are available in the DMD uh, compiler. So again, that's why I like using the reference compiler. But depending on what type of uh, code you need to generate, or for what platforms, you might try LDC2 or the DMD, so it depends. Or if you want, you can also set up GDC, which has a similar install. So I hope that was useful. hope you enjoyed that, and that's two options to get you started on the D programming language. Alrighty, folks, I hope you found that useful, and I hope you're all set up with a Mac and are able to write a Hello World program now. With that said, we're soon going to start writing some more interesting programs and immersing you in the deep programming language. So make sure that you like if you enjoyed this video and got set up okay. Comment below if you had a question and make sure to subscribe to the series so you don't miss future lessons on D. I'm excited to take this journey with you and I'll see you very soon.